to five times stronger than humans. That means a really strong chimp could, in theory, lift about 16 people over its head. But can eating bananas and swinging around in trees really account for this difference? After all, aren't we supposed to share 99% of our genes? Studies have shown differences in the way our muscles are built. But muscle control may be a much more important factor. Chimps seem to have less control over how much muscle they use at once. While this may sound counterintuitive, this could account for the difference in strength. Let's take a look at why. Compared to humans, chimps have less gray matter relative to body weight. Gray matter is the part of the nervous system that contains the nerves responsible for controlling motion. These branch out from the spine into the muscles to control individual muscle fibers. Some neurons can contact many muscle fibers at once. Activating these neurons causes all of the muscle fibers it touches to contract at once, creating a lot of force. This combination of neuron and muscle fiber is called a large motor unit, and these are used for gross motor skills, like jumping and climbing. Some neurons contact only a few fibers, making a small motor unit. These don't have a lot of power, but they are a lot more precise. Small motor units let us do delicate, complex tasks, like playing a video game or plucking a ukulele. Things that we can do, and chimps can't. So chimps, who have less gray matter, have fewer motor neurons. Therefore, their motor neurons are more likely to be dedicated to large motor units. This means when they do engage their muscles, it's an all or nothing response, which we see as strength. Unlike chimps, our neurons control smaller bundles, so we have more specific muscle control. So keep this in mind the next time you think of challenging a chimp in a pub. You might want to try thumb wrestling instead. For Scientific American, I'm Yasmin Tayag.